Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ange, if you haven't met me before, and today we're going to be going around my plant collection and just trying to clear out some of those plants that don't really spark joy anymore, in the words of Marie Kondo. I've definitely been inspired and in watching some decluttering videos on YouTube, and I've been decluttering my clothes, my makeup, everything like that, and I think I do want to get rid of a few different plants. Additionally, we do want to move at some point. We are looking for a new place, so if I can get rid of those plants that aren't really like making me super, super happy, then it's going to be a lot easier to move them. So if you're interested in seeing me declutter some of my plant collection, then definitely keep on watching. And if you like planty videos or planty content, then definitely hit that subscribe button. So let's go see what needs to go. So I thought the easiest place to start would definitely be my bedroom. Again, see me here. I have gotten rid of all my clothes and stuff in this mirrored area. Um, but it's definitely a little bit hard because I'm a bit of a makeup hoarder because I am a makeup artist. So I've been definitely trying to get rid of clothes and makeup and cash is being a menace and pulling my things off onto the floor. Um, anyway, so I would say the plants that are in my bedroom, oh, side note, that does not close anymore. So if that's bugging you, it's bugging me. Don't worry. But anyway, I would say most of the plants that are in my bedroom are plants that I really, really love. This is kind of my, like, ride or die plants. I would say that none of these are going to be going. Oh, goodness. You can see up here that the blinds have taken a little bit of my philodendron off. This is my Hartley philodendron. It's definitely not one of my favorite plants. But I really do want to hang this from a ceiling at some point because I think that would be really pretty. So I am keeping that one. Something that definitely needs to go would be this little propagation here. This was a string of heart propagation. You can probably see it better over here. Um, it definitely did work, but I kept forgetting to water it because it was on that windowsill. And, you know, it just, uh, I can't be bothered. It's dry. Like, hear that crunch, that ASMR for you. Yeah. Anyway, so that's something that is definitely gonna go. So we'll pop that there. Everything else are my babies. We've got my beautiful white princess philodendron. It came out with like a pretty much all white leaf. So it's going to get a little bit brown, but it's just so stunning. Look at that. Oops. Can't really see. Look at that pink. It's so pretty. Oh, one thing that has failed recently is my, uh, what's it called? Alocasia zebrina. It did suffer some root rot and I did pop it in water. It started to root up. You can see those roots there, but honestly, I don't think that I want to wait around for that. It's just, you know, I have better things to use that space for. So let's get rid of that. I might put that also on the bed. That is a terrible idea hawks. Other plants, we've got like alocasia, my syngonium. These are all my Hoyas. I have, yeah, I don't think these are going to go. We love these. You know, I love my Hoyas. So definitely going to be staying. So let's head into the bathroom. All right. So the bathroom is probably another place that I do love all the plants are in here. Oh gosh, this is not starting off good. But I will say that I think I might be getting rid of this Calathea. So this is a Calathea orbifolia, and it just doesn't do much. You know, the leaves got a bit crispy, so I cut them off, and it just doesn't grow. So I think I will be getting rid of that one. So that is goodbye. The rest of them are absolutely beautiful. My Anthurium vitarifolium has had issues with thrips over and over again, but I think it is bouncing back. It's putting out this new leaf here and it's looking beautiful. I want to thank you all for all your lovely messages about Kashi. He is doing well. Oh, he's growling because he doesn't want me to take the hat. <laughs> He is doing absolutely great now. He did have a colon impaction, so we had to get that cleared up at the vet. And he was so sad. We had to put nappies on him because there was just bloody stuff coming out of his bum bum. But he is doing great. He's so cute. He's a baby. He's a baby. He does have shaved arms though, so it's really, really sad. But hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. 
Okay, so we are in the kitchen at the moment. My dishes are drying there, so I'm sorry. That does not look great. But I definitely want to get rid of this plant here. So this is an anthurium. I think this is an anthurium hookeri or something like that. And I got it at a discount. It was like one leaf. I got it from Eden Gardens and uh, I thought that it would grow a lot faster than it did. Um, since I've had it, which is probably about like, I don't know, eight months or something like that, it's put out one leaf and then now it's putting out this leaf here too. So I just don't like the way it looks. I feel like if I had a backyard that I could just, you know, plant it in, then I'd be happy with it. But I'm just really not loving how it looks. So I think that is something that is definitely going to go. And I'm not really liking how cluttered the kitchen's looking. So let's see what else can go. Okay, the next plant that definitely has to go is another anthurium. And this is a anthurium polystictum or something. And honestly, it's not its fault. It's mine. It was struggling and I just did absolutely nothing to help it. I just let it die. So I think I'm going to be getting rid of that one. It was really cute, but you know, we don't like this stumpy thing, even though it is, you know, creating a new growth point. I cannot be bothered to wait for that. So that is something that is going. The next plant on here I think I'm going to be getting rid of is this little lithops. It's cute, but it just, it doesn't really do anything again. I thought that it would create more little bums, and really it's just been this one tiny little bum for about a year, so. <laughs> you know, it's alive, it's really easy to take care of. You literally water it once every like six months. If you water it too often, it will die. So if you want something super easy, then sure, get this, but it doesn't do much. So <laughs> that is something that is going. I'm going to also get rid of this little propagation here. This I got from the Collector's Plant Fair and I tried to propagate it in soil and then in water and it's just done absolutely nothing and it's starting to rot off a little bit. So I'm going to get rid of that and stick that philodendron Brazil propagation somewhere else. I absolutely love carnivorous plants. I think they're so, so underrated. Um, this guy needs some water. You should have them sitting in water like all the time. So I need to water them every day. But I do think I want to pop this um, pitcher plant in with the pitcher plant that's living up on my windowsill. So I think I want to double plant them together just so it looks fuller in there. And then also it's not taking up as much space on this little bench top. So we can move those over. I love this peperomia. It is so beautiful. Sorry, the light is awful. It's like this bluey gray color. I just think that is absolutely stunning. I love like gray leaves. So cute. The next plant I'm gonna be getting rid of is this string of pearls. It is just such a slow grower. This is the variegated string of pearls, but honestly the variegation isn't that prominent and it honestly just doesn't grow. Like my normal string of pearls outside grows so quick. This is just a pain in the neck. It doesn't really do anything. So I'm gonna be getting rid of this. Any plants that I'm getting rid of that look semi-decent, I am just gonna leave them outside my apartment block because people just take them straight away. But any of them that are looking kind of, you know, trash, I will just be putting in the bin. So that is another one that is going to go. I need to fix this situation here. It's looking a bit cluttered, but I absolutely love everything that is in that corner. So I won't be getting rid of it. My Monstera propagation that I did uh, a few weeks back is doing really, really well. We have some nice roots, so I'm super happy about that. When that gets enough roots, I'm going to be replanting it in with the other one and making it nice and full and bushy. And my Raphidophora tetrasperma is going crazy. Look, it's reaching through the ceiling. Oh my gosh, but I love it. It just reminds me of like a jungle vibes. So I'm now in front of my Ikea unit. This is the Bitsjo unit, I believe. The first plant that I will be getting rid of is this. I'm sorry if it's really dark right now. I'll pull it down so we can see it a bit more. So this is just my normal snake plant. Um, I, it was one of the first plants I got in my plant collection when I was 
gosh, how long ago? That was like four years ago now. Um, and I did really love it, but it's again such a slow grower and I need that instant gratification. But my friend does want this one, so when lockdown is over, I will be giving it to her. I took it out of soil, so all of the roots are gone, and now it's starting to put out water roots, so that is the situation there. I kind of wanted to grow it hydroponically, but you know, I will just keep this in water and I will be giving that to her. The next plant I'm going to be getting rid of is this peperomia here. So this is, I don't even remember which one this is, it's, I think it's the silver, no it's not the silver, I'm not sure what peperomia this is, but it's just not looking so hot, like there's nothing wrong with it, it just gets really thirsty really quickly and I don't have time for that. And honestly, it's just not really sparking joy. This is a dead leaf, so that can go. But, you know, we will be getting rid of that. I will pop that on the street and see if anyone wants it. If not, I will just be popping that in the trash. I think I'll be keeping this peperomia. This is a silver ripple. I like the ripple-y effect on the leaves. Really cute. I do want to give it a nicer pot, though. So that will be staying. I think the last plant that I will be getting rid of on this Ikea shelf will be this guy at the back. So this is my Pilea peperomoides. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. I propagated this little baby from my mother plant in the bathroom, but I just, you know, I don't have the space for this. So this one might go, actually, I might keep this one and there's another one outside on my balcony that I'll get rid of. So I will decide at the end. So the next plant that I'm not really getting rid of per se, but I am going to be chopping it up and starting again is this Monstera adansonii. And it's just looking like a hot mess. It never attached to the pole. The leaves are really small. It's really leggy. Look at that. I am just not happy with how it looks. So I think once I finish going through the rest of my plants, I will be chopping this up and just starting again. Okay, so I'm outside now. I'm sorry if it's really noisy, but I do live on like a main road. So this is the other Pilea I was telling you about. I think I'm actually going to get rid of this one because it's not as full as the other one and then keep the other one maybe out here or something like that. So this Pilea I think is going to go. The other one can stay. It's absolutely fine. These are all propagations that I've done, but you know, I just don't need it. The next plant I'm going to get rid of is this Syngonium. So this is just on struggle bus. It had some pest issues. I abandoned it outside and it just hasn't really done any better. Like we do have some normal leaves, but I don't really like it enough to keep it. It's just so gangly looking and crispy. Um, I think this was just a Syngonium white butterfly. So really easy to repurchase if I do want to get it again, but I will just pop my Hoya over here. Cute. Another plant that I'm starting again with is this Philodendron Campos Partoanum. I didn't like the way it looked, so I cut it all back. The rest of it is propagating in water and I'm waiting to see if these guys sprout out some new growth. All right, so the last plants that need to go are these three that I have left to die. I've known that I've wanted to get rid of these for a while, but I wanted to create a video and then Cash got sick. So they've been sitting on this chair for like two weeks, just not getting watered in the sun. So they're looking pretty worse for wear. This is the ficus umbellata I talked about with plants that I was struggling with. I said I was going to abandon it outside to see if it did any better. It hasn't, so we're going to be getting rid of that. It's gotten actually a lot worse, so bye-bye. Um, the next one I've just kind of fallen out of love with. This used to be one of my favorite plants. This is a Calicia repens. Don't judge. It's really looking bad at the moment because of my neglect. But I just stopped loving it. So I think I'm just going to get rid of it. It was really, really cute. When they're healthy, they're beautiful. I've had really big ones before. But yeah, that's going to go bye-bye. And then the last one is a magic bean plant. I really don't know what it's actually called, but yeah, it's looking rough. So that is going to go as well. So I've just popped all the plants that are going bye-bye on the dining table. And I think I'm actually pretty proud of myself. There is uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 
14-ish if you kind of count the provocations as well. So I'm pretty happy with myself. I'm After this video, I think I will like walk around and see if there's anything else that I can part with while I'm not on camera trying to make this decision because it is a little bit stressful. But I'm gonna go chop up my Monstera now, so let's go do that. All right, so I'm gonna start chopping this up. I actually find this super satisfying to do, especially when the plant looks this ugly. So I'm gonna just start by getting rid of the like ties that I'm putting it on the pole. And then we're gonna see what's salvageable. I don't think I'll be keeping everything, but just a lot of propagation so I can start fresh. Let's go choppity chop. I honestly think I'm just gonna start attacking the vines and cutting them off um, just so I can see what is salvageable. So ooh, some of these have actually stuck onto the pole, which is surprising because the leaves are so dang small. I don't really think I'm going to be keeping the base of this plant just because I'm going to have so many propagations. But if you are ever like starting from scratch, you can keep the base of the plant with the roots and like the empty stems because they will regrow. But I just, I don't need it. There's so much plant material here that I'm sure I will get enough plants. Alright, so this is all the stuff that I will be just throwing out. Um, yeah, I don't really feel like the need to keep any of that. So we're going to get on to propagating the rest of it. So this is what I ended up keeping. I have a bunch of one node cuttings here, some larger cuttings, and then the largest cuttings here. I will just be popping those in my grow tent. I think some of them are definitely not going to survive, but I will definitely have enough to start a whole new plant. I'm so excited. It's going to look so good. All right, guys, so that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, then definitely hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, then hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. All right, bye.